Till now, we have imported data from three regions and now only the south region remains. And we will be learning how to import data from a zip file when we are importing the customer data from the south region. Actually, zip file dumps are very common. If you have Unix or Linux based system, you might be seeing the more efficient gzip files also. So for large data storage and transfer, files are zipped together to prevent space. For example, in telecom or banking industry, due to very large number of transactions, I have seen huge CSV files getting generated and those files would be zipped and put at a particular location. Similarly, several organizations which are using ERP systems which do not connect well with the data integration tools like PDI, in such situations, we set up creation of daily dumps from those ERP systems in a zip file format. And those zip file dumps are picked up by tools like PDI. So you can see that here is the zip file and this zip file contains the data in a CSV format. And you can also see the compression that zip achieves. Originally the data is nearly 10, 11 KB, but when we compress it, the compressed file is nearly 4 KB. Now, if you have a CSV file zipped in a gzip format, then you can use this input step, gzip CSV input step to get the data. But if it is not in this gzip format and you have a normal zip file, which has a single text or CSV type file inside, you can use the text input step again. I told you that this step is very powerful and let us see how in this step only we can import zipped files also. So I have dragged and dropped this text file input. I will double click on it and I'll name it input input from zip file. Now in the file or directory, we have to go and browse the zip file. Now by default, because file type selected is text, this zip file will be grayed out. But to select this zip file, you have to select all files here. Only then you will be able to select the zip file. Now you have to click on add and this zip file is selected here. Now let us configure the other tabs. It is CSV type with a comma separator. It has the top line as header. Now the most important change is the compression type. Here we have to select zip because this is compressed in the zipped file format. The format, as always, we are going to select mixed. Now in the fields. Now, since we are getting the data from a zip file, we will not be able to fetch the fields because for that the file would need to first get unzipped. So we need to manually mention all the fields that we want to fetch from this file. So just like we did in the data grid section, we have to mention all the column names, column types and their length for this step also. I'll fill this information and skip right to the point where I've filled all of this information.
Now I have filled the details of all the fields, their types and the length. With this, I can now preview the rows. And you can see that PDI was able to unzip the file and read the CSV that is present inside that zip file. And for all the fields that I have mentioned, it has fetched the data correctly. Let us click on OK. And this is how we input file from a zipped CSV file. So it can be a zipped CSV or a text file also. If you have multiple text or CSV files, which are zipped together in a single zip file, then we usually unzip the file first and get all those text and CSV files in a folder. That is done using a step in the job. So in PDI job, we have specialized steps which can zip or unzip files. Once we unzip the zip file in a specific folder, then we get the data from those files together using the text input step and the regex notation. So when we discuss jobs in PDI, I'll show you how to zip and unzip files in a job. That's all. We have imported customers data from different types of tabular flat file types. You can see that the text input step is a very powerful step and it is very versatile also when it comes to reading such flat files. For now, we will save this transformation with the name customer transformation. I am saving this in the same location so that you can also see my transformation in the resources section. Now in the next video, we will start a new transformation for getting product data from non-tabular files such as XML file and a JSON file.